from Stegman Coliseum in Athens, Georgia. This is the SEC on ESPN. And in a series that dates to 1924, the Florida Gators and Georgia Bulldogs meet on the hardwood tonight in Athens. Lenardi's latest, Florida currently a three-seed. Georgia was on the bubble a couple of weeks ago. The Bulldogs looking for a signature win tonight. Florida controls the tip. The Gators in the row blues. Georgia in the home white. Immediately inside and back outside. Here's Devin Robinson and Casey Hill. A balanced Florida attack. They've been led by eight different scores over the course of an 18-win season thus far. Kayvon Allen challenged, and he threw it away. Watch the defender for Obede. I mean, playing a ton of center field. It was Egbunu, and now it's Hayes. Really is four on five at times for, for Georgia on the offensive end. Corner three off the kick from Frazier. Next score, our first score comes from Turtle Jackson. That's a great sign. Georgia relies so heavily on J.J. Frazier and Yante Mayton to score the basketball. Anytime some of their role players can get going, what a block for Obede. And a beautiful feed inside of Yante Mayton. Yeah, even with that... Try to split the defenders. Here's Leon cutting down the lane. Yeah, that's really nice. I mean, two are going to Kayvon Allen off those ball screens, hard hedge. If you can reverse it and get some timely cuts on the weak side, you get that. A nice cut and a nice finish. Obede too strong. Leon again for three. Why not? to go to the second weekend and if things break right for them they could be final four teams as well so this is a team that can go far and Chris Chioza comes off the bench to nail a three I wonder if maybe some of that lack of respect within this league there's Mayton is uh, based on the fact that those two teams you just talked about are primarily defensive teams Florida and South Carolina two of the best defensive teams in all of college basketball and maybe that's not as sexy to some from a national perspective and there's Devin Rock Carolina and Florida are they're teams that are going to be contending to get to the Sweet 16 and to get to the final. Sure, defenders, whether it's early, whether it's on the catch, whether it's after the catch, to try and disrupt the rhythm of Yante Mayton in the paint. Frazier's able to get in, and that one's rejected. Black back to back blocks by Kivarius Hayes. That will key a floor to break nice out. And a beautiful feed converted by Hayes. Florida scored 11 of the last 13. Nice look. Mike Edwards got it. Course of the season, a guy like J.J. Frazier that's depending on so heavily end of shot clock, end of half situations. Sometimes you get stuck with the basketball because someone passes up a shot. Barry on the steal, and he converts. And that can depress a guard's shooting percentage, you know, by a certain amount over the course of a season. Allen, no nice. leaner. As long as it doesn't depress the player, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know, if J.J. Fraser, we, we'll get depressed about shooting the rock. He's in lead campus. He's one of the most influential players in the history of this program in terms of steals, assists, and points. Top 10 throughout for a 1,000-point score. She owes it with a burst all the way in and off the window. He says his earpiece in, right, Seth? I have my earpiece in. Kara, how many points did you score in your career with Tennessee? Seth, do you at least have your earpiece in today? Because it seems to be a trend with you these days. I have my earpiece in. I want to know how many points Kara scored in her career. Because <laughs> she scored a lot more points than I did. I can guarantee you that. She's up today, basically running on fumes, gets out there ice cold, and she shoots like 90% from the floor, just messing around today. Let me tell you, see, Kara is no marshmallow. I mean, she's the toughest analyst in all of ESPN basketball. I'm sitting here to Jay Will. If he had to go cross-country twice, 
He'd be taking a nap right now. <laughs> Jay, well, a little tissue paper next to you, Seth, huh? <laughs> Hey Seth, you know I know I know you spent some time last week in Gainesville and got a chance to see this Florida team up close and personal. What do you feel like are the strengths of this group as they head to a march run? This is an elite defensive team. They do a terrific job of pressuring the ball. They don't get split. They protect the front of the rim and then offensively, I think they're with your opponent. Seth, thanks for hanging around, and thanks for keeping your earpiece in. We know that's been a challenge for you. It's a little tough keeping your earpiece in. There's no doubt about it. But the opportunities down the road. They still have Kentucky. They still have Auburn. They still go to Arkansas. But they just haven't come away with that big win. And more often than not, care, it's been because of a heartbreaking finish. Yeah, there's, it's not about being close at this point if you're Georgia. It's about getting some of those wins. And ah, the way he's able to transition and attack, even with multiple defenders. Hill behind the screen. Brought down by Kessler. Georgia down two touchdowns, looking for a spark. Into Maiden. He hesitated a moment. That allowed Florida to convert. John, and they still got a bucket. Around three players. Taken away by Pop Gianna and Georgia. The deficit's a dozen. Frazier, got it! <laughs> ESPN 2. Jay and I go way back. I got, love for, I got love for everybody in that studio. Jay and I were the same uh, year coming out of high school, actually. Bob Gianna for three. George is run. Where'd you look on the offensive end? This guy right here with the ball. Frazier to his left. Yeah. Wow. That's really nice. It's that ice coverage just getting in that shooting pocket right there. Barry maybe a push off. It still won't go. Frazier's got the board. Body's flying. Frazier oh. will burst off the glass. Jay. Single digits on the shot clock. Mayton will throw it up. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, Fraser for Georgia. Pop Giada with the drive. Fire for the junior. Florida has missed its last 10 after getting off to a hot start. Yeah, there we go for Casey Hill. Juan Parker. Not even really getting an opportunity to get your feet wet in this game. Nice floater there by Casey Hill. Maiden. Power move Ooh. on a power rejection. Ooh. Chris Chioza. And now Frazier on the other end. Out to Mayton. First triple for Yante Mayton. Advantage inside for Florida. Florida's a great transition team. What's the purpose of that for Mark Fox against these Gators? Delay and disrupt. Just take some time off the shot clock, force them to get into their continuity a little bit later than normal. Shields is so strong. A little jump stop. Out of his post up where he had to turn and face up, then made a poor pass cross court. Missed in a month from the free throw line. Here's a goal. Maiden guarded by Chioza, still gets a fingertip on it. Steal number four for Chris Chioza. Barry left wide open. Boom. That is typical. 7-0 Florida run to get back in front by double figures and J.J. Freightstone. Nicely done by Hill. Florida's done a pretty good job of that in the half court tonight. They've got Crump guarding Hill. And Crump able to get his hands on that one. 
Frazier, beautiful look, and Edwards a jam. Mike White wants a timeout. Nobody wants the offense to start over there with Hill, guarded by Crump. It was a key. Mark Fox put Crump on Hill instead of Frazier. And they've been going to the well with that. that over the last four games, certainly seeing that tonight in Columbia as the Gamecocks are struggling to find the basket. Yeah, I would hope South Carolina is a team that makes their money on their defense because, goodness gracious, <laughs> what they shoot? 10% in that first they half did. against Alabama? Wow. I'm up close and personal against Kentucky. Sands, P.J. Dozier. How physical Frank Martin's team is on the defensive end. They make everything difficult for you. Florida's making it really difficult on Yonsei Maiden in his second half, collapsing around Georgia's big man. And now Leon transition barely drives the front of the rim. Georgia's turned it over six times this half. Beautiful duck. Maiden still challenged. And finally an end one. Whoa. Cold blooded. Edwards falling away. Remember, Yancey Mayton took a seat on the bench with more than eight minutes to play. I thought maybe he would return at the under eight. Albede brings it down. And just as I was thinking that, there's big number one going to the scorer's table. Frazier tried to cross over. Don't do that in front of Casey Hill, kids. And Hill converts. Frazier's got 14. It's a nine-point game. Blocked by Alvede. Out to Frazier. Trying to beat Chioza to the rack. And a foul on goal. It's ripped away by Florida. And Jackson took an elbow to the head when he was in there trying to get to the basketball. Seven-point game. So now an 11-point game if Aguna can make these free throws. Hill. And Florida in a bit of a slump now. Not as big as Georgia's. Georgia's missed its last 10. Now 11. Not a good time to go cold. Barry on the baseline. Mike Krzyzewski back. Florida's lead is a dozen. He has made 35 consecutive free throws now. Meanwhile, Georgia has made just four of its last 26 field goal attempts. Mayton all alone. There's the jam. He hasn't been alone much. It's the most important thing right now. Nice cut by Hill. Yep. 3% from the line on the season. on the weak side and if you're Georgia shot clock is at seven Gators content to milk this thing Chioza wow <laughs> anytime Kara Lawson giggles it was a good play <laughs> Mayton that's another block if you want to count it for Florida Parker is able to knock it yeah. from Virginia. One like Chioza, an yep. upperclassman, and like Chioza, two guys who just have this extra sense and a killer sense. Shot clock at eight. What will he do now? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful feed, and Barry finishes it. But Chioza and, and Casey Hill, those two players together, they can both initiate the offense. They're a little bit different stylistically as point guards. And I loved how the front line was really a group effort against Yante Mayton to make things more difficult. Hayes came in and did a great job. Leon, I mean, this was just a team effort. This is a Florida team that's trending in the right direction. And in the end, this will be a road win against an 
team with an RPI of 54. Mike White's squad has won five in a row, most of them in dominating fashion. 72-60 our final here. With Florida being first place tomorrow, we will find out shortly. Back to the studio to get you caught up on all the latest. Good night from Athens.